My name would be Ben Harvey. I am Dave Rubin. Yes, welcome to the show. We do like down and dirty stuff. Have you caught the Ben and Dave show fever? Uh, can I get some kind of lubricant for my chair? <laughs> All right, yes. Welcome to the show. Have you caught the uh the fever yet? The the Ben and Dave show fever? I don't they I mean, we just started. They couldn't have caught the fever yet. Oh shit. That was a little Oh shit. Come yeah. on, guys. We just we just started. There's no chance they could have caught it. Yeah, them. this you is You can't catch anything that quickly. This is the first episode. I, I suppose we should introduce ourselves. My name would be Ben Harvey. I am Dave Rubin. Hello, Dave Rubin. How you doing, Ben Harvey? You know what I, I was saying before? This almost feels like a, a blind date because yeah. they don't know us. We barely know each other. No. They took us, the here people, they took us and they put us in a room and they said, you guys will do something good if we put you in a little room. And you know uh, when you put two gay guys in a, a room with padded with, walls? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the, it could get messy. Yeah. Now, interestingly, two of the walls are padded, and then there's a regular wall and a window. So this is, uh, it reminds me of something that I did in Amsterdam. Oh, does it? Yeah. 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 That was... So th this means if it gets a little dirty, people will be able to peer in. Yeah. They'll also be able to hear what's going on. Yeah. Well, we can't get too dirty because there are office people here. This is where we are in an office. We're in a studio in an office, and we can't. These people are trying to work. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing they're either. All, but they all have computers. They have fancy computers. They're always typing. Yeah. Well, this is here networks. We have a lot of podcasts. I've hosted, uh, you know, podcasts about gay vampires and you know all the various hit shows we have on here. It's all gay vampires. The whole network. Is, yeah. Is gay vampires. Gay vampires, gay witches. Yeah. What's, what, I can't, what is the deal? What's the, what's the story with gay people and, it's a biting thing. It's about biting somehow. We do like biting. Yeah. We do like the kinky, uh, down and dirty stuff. Right. That seems to be a recurring theme already in, in our podcast. Yeah. Now, we know you from your own podcast, which is called Hot Gay Comics. It is. Pretty, uh, pretty clever. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Did you come up with that on your own? I did. I came up with five names, and that was the one we, uh, you know, kind of juxtaposing the fat, slovenly comic. Yeah. And then hot, gay porn star. That's what you would think. So we kind of <laughs> mesh them into one. Well, you know what? I'm psyched to be doing a show with a real live uh, comedian, let alone a gay comedian, uh, you know, because... I don't, curious. By, oh, yeah. pardon me. Yeah. I mean, well, I had a little, I had a one thing, you know. We'll get to that. I've actually dug up some information on you. I'm, we're yeah. going to get to that in yeah. a minute. But I'm happy to do it with a comedian because I get to be the straight guy, so to speak. Yeah, good use of air quotes right there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Straight guy. Yeah. And you have to be the funny one. Did you just mug for the camera? I did. You Hi. Did. You just mugged for the camera. Hey, guys. So that's how we're going to do this. Okay. And I have to be the, what do I have to be? I have to be the funny guy. Yeah, there's pressure on you. Yeah. Well, Where, it's, you know, that's what I do. I just have to move things along here. Yeah. And we have a lot of paper. We have computers. There's water. There's paper. Tremendous amount of paper. Yeah. Quote, unquote, water. I don't know what's in yours. Yeah. Well, I think someone handed it to me and said it's water. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, do I, feel like... I think it was me. I might have slipped a little GHB in there as well. Hmm. All right. Well. A little sour, sweet taste. It, a little like a tang. Yeah. A little tangy. Good. Hey, so if you're listening, if you're watching, you're probably saying to this, uh, yourself, why the fuck should I be listening slash watching to Who these jerk-offs? Who are jerk -offs? these fucking homosexuals? And what are they doing? Uh, well, we are homosexuals who fuck. A. Yeah. And B. Not each other. We should, uh, I think you, impl you know, there was an implication there. Not yet. I mean, yeah. I I'm feeling a little sexual tension. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's the office and the lighting and, you know. Okay. Wow, I think uh, whatever I you put in your <laughs> water. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're going to attempt to explain <clears throat> to you why the fuck you should be uh, into the Ben and Dave show. I also think we should come up with a better name. Better than Ben and Dave? Yeah, but well, okay. I like things the, with Ben. I mean, Ben and Jerry, and look at them. Right, and, and uh, it you worked know out for them. I also think it's better that it's Ben and Dave because if it were Dave and Ben, we'd get the whole Dave and Buster's thing. Right. That's a, I've never been to Dave & Buster's. It's like an arcade. It's an right? arcade? I feel like gay people wouldn't go there. No. Do but you know what? Do you guys know what Dave & Buster's I, is? I really need to start mugging for the camera. More. <laughs> I'm going to do a little more of this. Okay. Um, so, I, I, yeah, gay people don't go to arcades, I don't think. No. I, I definitely went when I was closeted. And, you I feel know, like in the 80s, in the early 80s, you know what I mean? Before video games were at home, yeah. people were going to arcades. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I I went to Dave and Buster's. I definitely had anxiety about the video games. Like, you weren't good, or yeah. I mean, I feel like video games is is sort of like a a, a straight pseudo macho activity. Yeah. Well, you know, I watch porn now on my PlayStation Two. That's my DVD player, <laughs> which is weird. Playing video games on something that you also use to jerk off is kind of yeah. Because oh. then I I'll randomly just get hard while playing you know madden football or something all right uh, sign me up yeah, I, I need a ps2 yeah or a, well there's a ps3 now yeah, if you're gonna PS3. go ahead and invest all right yeah, yeah i'll do that now speaking of manhunt yeah. I, I wanted to uh get to something here because we were talking about you know, why the fuck should people listening? Once we establish that, I don't know if we have established that yet. Or oh, we're it. getting there. Please. Yeah. yeah. People are, I know people are listening right now going, this is some shit. It, you know what I mean? Right. Trust me. <laughs> some some doo-doo. Yeah. Now mug at the camera. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Good work. Okay. Uh, you you do your sexy little mug now. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> They're loving it. Well, I wanted to uh, <clears throat> talk about, because you mentioned Manhunt, I wanted to talk about Craigslist. Yeah. Because the second part of what we need to do is is advertise. Yeah. I mean, people aren't just going to stumble across this and say, hey, Ben and Dave show, sign me up. Oh, they will. Some okay. of them will. Okay. I have people, you know, I sent out an email. You did? Yeah. You uh you you email blasted your your a list gays. Well, I have a in, small in I have a small list of a few power homosexuals, All and right. uh, they've been contacted. I'll do the same. Yeah. Now my idea here yeah. was uh, clearly we we were thinking along the same lines because you brought up manhunt, but Craigslist seems to be the place to go um, in order to get whatever the hell you want. I mean, I just moved to Brooklyn, and, you know, I sold my furniture on there. I bought some furniture. Um, you know, I found a, a, a cleaning uh, dude who comes over in the nude. <laughs> really? Mean, that's where it's at. And he really cleaned in the nude? Not yet. He starts on uh, Friday. He's going to clean in the nude? Yeah. And what's his? what were his qualifications? Um, well, his ad said uh, nude cleaning service. Right. Um Two hundred fifty for for uh, one session. That's reasonable. It seems it seems <laughs> it seems kind of crazy to be cleaning nude. I mean, I can appreciate why people would want it, but it seems when you have all those chemicals, yeah, your balls. Uh, you know, I don't want my balls getting Windex on them or <laughs> anything like that. Well, uh, all right, fine. Maybe I'll there. I said it. I don't want my balls getting Windex. Okay, so yeah. We're going to save that quote and uh, and use it from now on. Yeah. Maybe we can get sponsored by Windex. Perhaps. Yeah, and our logo could be something with my balls sort of almost in a Windex thing, but then not. I, I really like the Clorox wipes because uh, have you seen the new ones? They kill the flu virus. Yeah. And sometimes if I've hooked up with a guy, I feel dirty. Yeah. I want to Clorox Clorox wipe. You want a Clorox. That's something else altogether. Yeah, I want a yeah. Clorox and Clorox wipe my entire body, uh, nipples, balls, schlong, and ass. In no particular order. Yeah. Um, but So my idea was we should advertise <laughs> on Craigslist, Yeah. come up with a posting, uh, look for listeners. And I did a little, a little research ahead of time. Um, I went to the M4M personals. Now, what's that there? Uh, what uh, I love how you pretend you don't know. What M for M, that's... Uh, M man for man. Man for man. And They're just gentlemen who'd like to enjoy the company of other gentlemen. Right. And, of course, when if we do this, we're all inclusive. We're going to include the women. So yeah. ours would be M for WM. Right. And maybe a, a, a T for the transsexual or an yeah. I for the intersex. You know about the intersex, right? The intersex. Yeah, that's the latest politically correct term. Oh. LGBTQI. I just, you know, what what is the I? What is the intersex? I? Yeah, but well, what is I, that? I, you don't Some, even know what it somewhere is. Somewhere in between. Can we get Jenny on the phone? Yeah, or can we can, <laughs> I mean, what is intersex? Who, can we who? get a can I, can Wikipedia or something? All right. Am I doing this podcast with a straight guy? I don't I, you know, I have uh, Are you an imposter? I have limited knowledge. I'm good at certain things. Certain I, I I've heard your stand up and, and you say the, the gayest thing about you is that you uh have butt sex, correct? Yeah, well that and the Golden Girls. I love the Golden Girls. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I 
did some research. Let me just go over some of these. So you went on Craigslist to kind of see what kind of people we can bring in on this. Right. right. And also because we need to post an ad. Right. I, I will be honest. I've never posted an ad on on Craigslist. Yeah. Except in the erotic services uh, department. It's uh, 300 an hour for me, by the way. To clean. To well, I'm I'm full service for whatever it is. Full service, just, an just hour. like this podcast. Yeah, but I did find this one. The subject line is "Sub would like to meet his first master, a gentleman only." M for M, fifty, and he's uh, located in Pleasant Hill. So let's uh, decode this. It means yeah. he's fifty fifty years old. Fifty means fifty. We're good. Okay, <laughs> so far so good. I'm Sub okay. means. Submissive. I Submissive. Think. Okay. Would like to meet his first master. So this is like a, a kinky uh, master-slave scenario. Yeah. Or it would be like, um, you know, Skeletor and, uh, you know, who is one of his guys under him. Beast Man. Okay. Go ahead. You got the computer there. <laughs> you, you you can look these things <laughs> up. Man.com. Okay. All I got is uh, yeah. printouts from Craigslist. So this is what he writes. Hello, sir. I have BDSM knowledge but only with mistress. I find myself curious about kneeling naked for a master. He needs to be the right one, controlling, but reasonable and caring, willing to be patient and teach me. Um, I wish to please, but I need to be reassured and brought along. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh God. You need to be pleased and reassured. What? What is this? Uh, he said he's, he's not into cuddling or kissing either. So it, is this the type of guy we're listening? Uh, we're, we're looking that we want, right? To listen. I, well, I, you know, I think we should be. Uh, it's a big tent, right? <laughs> and we'll bring in, uh, you know, everyone from the gay community. Okay. The, so the submissives, the. So you're allowed. Uh, we're going to contact you, purse at four three four five nine two five three three at Craigslist dot org. I think it's a great idea. We're going to just go on Craigslist and then we'll randomly email people that are looking for sex and right. say, "Come and listen to our show." We're going to discuss the topics that are important to you. And come, you're going to spell C-U-M, of course. Obviously. Right. Okay. Uh, one more, just because we need Wait, to get... Wait, how... Is there another way to spell it? Uh, yeah, I'm, I apologize. Oh. Okay. I, you know, elementary uh, yeah. English, I apparently skipped. Uh, another one here, because we need to get the lingo down before we do our posting. Yeah. Want some NSA slash no recip blow and go service. M for M, 36 Richmond. NSA, isn't that the National Security Association? <laughs> uh, I believe so. Yeah. So That he, sounds like entrapment. I mean, you're going to get there and they're going to arrest you. Uh, it's, okay, yeah. This uh, Maybe this is Dateline NBC. Yeah. You uh, look a little a little bit like uh, Chris Hansen. Oh, do I? Yeah. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah. Granted, he's like 20 well, years older no, than no, I No, no. I mean, as a, you look like a younger version of Chris Hansen. All right. So this is entrapment right here. NSA. Uh, no strings attached. No strings attached. No yeah. strings attached. We knew it. You knew it. Come yeah. on. We were just kidding, people. N no recip. No reciprocation. Uh, home alone and want to suck some cock and swallow a load. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> Uh, no chat slash BS bullshit. Just stop by, come in, unzip, and enjoy. Unload, and we are both happy. Smiley face. Right. <laughs> so he's saying no reciprocation as in I'm going to blow you. You don't have to blow me. Right. He Sounds uh, like a very nice guy. It sounds good to me. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, he's 6'1", HWP, discreet and clean. HW oh, hi height. I still have the phone. We on. got the phone. Oh, poor Sean. He's going to hear this whole thing. <laughs> well, he just returned to his desk, so now we'll see what happens. Um, height. HWP. Oh, w height, weight, proportionate. Oh, P. Okay, okay. I'm giving too much away. Clearly, you know I've been on. Yeah, uh, you. What, I don't know what you're doing. I, I browse, okay? Yeah. I browse. Yeah. You're, uh, yeah. Uh, so there's that one. And oh, read this one. Come on. Yeah. You want me to read this one? All right. So this is, uh, you found this in San Francisco. And it's to the other guy in my 7.30 yoga class, and it's uh, M for M, 27. I think this is from one of those missed connections. Oh, right. Mi yeah, missed connections, which means that it, this is somebody who just met somebody and then thought that there was a connection and that maybe this guy will check. So it says, I would have helped you with your headstand if you need something to lean up against. But wait, wait, wait. He was in yoga class, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so he we was in yoga class. And I would have helped you with your headstand if you need something to lean up against. When the instructor... When the instructor thanked us for the opportunity to practice yoga, I had something else to be thankful for entirely. 
See you next week. Oh, that's kind of sweet. <laughs> Are they doing headstands in yoga? Is that what yoga? I haven't been to a yoga class, but they do a lot of headstands. I have been to a, a yoga class. Um, yeah. I enjoy the sweaty ones, the the Bikram, because yeah. then you get to see the dudes with their shirts off. Yeah. And, uh, very hot in there. I've never done it. Very but, hot. Yeah. Very hot in multiple ways. But yeah, I, I mean, I guess it depends on how good you are. But headstand is a pretty advanced pose. Um, so what I'm thinking is... So I'm confused what he's going for here. What is he trying to say? He's saying, I want to do another headstand with you? or Yeah, I, I, I would imagine. He, he, he's being pretty clever. Right. He, he wants to talk to the guy and yet, you know, sort of like a double entendre, yeah. if you will. I will. You will. Yeah. Oh, will you? Yeah. Okay. And we have some news. We have some uh, some brand new news. Some good, some bad. Yeah. Um, let's start with the good. The good news. You tell us because you got the uh, the terminal over there. I have there. the computer here. Uh, and as you can see, we even printed something out over here. I'm not even sure what it says because it's backwards I'll read according it. to my... Can you, <laughs> I mean, I got it. There's a monitor over there, but it's... It says, send us a message on AIM. Yeah. Instant Messenger, Ben and Dave live, so that's our uh, that's our handle. Aim, which is Instant Messenger. AOL Instant Messenger. Yeah. Okay. Not Yahoo. We're not going to do it Yahoo. No, we're we're doing an Aim style. I think that's pretty much the the worldwide standard. Yeah. Now people are going to no, write it's a lot slash of freaks are on Yahoo. Pretty yeah, much. Right. Yeah. People so, are, are going to get pissed now, and they're going to be like, "Why aren't you on Google Chat?" Yeah. We're going to have to do them all. We'll do them all. I think it's you, you with the mugging. You can't stop. I, the, what, they want to hear from us. All right. All right. So a lot of good things happening. First off, we're on MySpace. Yes. We got on MySpace. Yeah, we have a MySpace page. Uh, we don't really know what the address is yet. There's some question. You could go to MySpace.com slash the official Ben and Dave show. Yeah. I believe that's what it is as of now. Yes. However, that seems a little confusing to me. Wait a minute. I can go there right now. I have oh, a computer. Yeah, check it out. Oh my, what in God's name are we? All right, here we go. I'm going to I'm going to go there. You're going to have to you're going to have to kill some time while I'm trying we're like, to type here. We're like grandpas in here. We're like, "What? Look at this newfangled technology. We have a, uh, t a TV. Oh, look, a, a telephone." You know what it is? I'm used to uh it's a lot of porn when I'm online, so I can't, so it's hard to, this is not porn related. Uh, yeah, uh, Dave is normally only used to going to uh, CorbinFisher.com. They're doing good stuff. We got to get them to sponsor us. The official Ben and Dave show. And how's it looking? Oh, we're there, brother. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So How do we look? We look good. I look good. You, uh, I know. You look a little, I... you know, sit up straight. Could you? Yeah. Right. Pardon. Pardon me. So that's the good news. Uh, we, we, we're getting things going. We're getting your emails. We're uh, getting your messages. However, we have a major problem here. Yeah. There's another Ben and Dave show. Yeah, we just found this out this morning. Um, major, major. We should have checked this out first. I'm busy. I mean, well, I, I'm, I have things to do. And this could have been easily fixed by calling it the Dave and Ben show. Yeah. However, there's already a, a Ben and Dave show. They stole our MySpace address, which we were going to use. Um, however, we're committed to being much better than the Ben and Dave show from yeah. the United Kingdom. It's, it's from the United Kingdom, and they're kids. They're like 20-year-old college kids. Yeah. And uh, dorky. They look very dorky. According right. To the, uh, I, I don't know which one is which, but one has really shaggy hair. The other one is wearing a, a cardigan. Yeah. I don't claim to be a good dresser, but wh when was the last time you wore a cardigan? I went through a cardigan phase probably about eighth grade, which it, would be about, uh, I'd say, about 1990. Exactly. Well, yeah. apparently it's uh, they're, they're trying to make it the comeback uh, in the United Kingdom Wait, with the Ben and Dave show. I don't want to interrupt, but I have to mention that uh, now we did not, Jenny, our lovely, uh, what can I call her? Um, she concubine or <laughs> what is she? She's our she. I mean, love she, slave. Or, right. Uh, she's the head honcho around here. Yeah. She's a she's a big woman around here at here, and she made our MySpace page. Right. right? And if you listen to the uh, the last podcast slash watch it slash whatever you do, uh, you'll hear that um, she's not a lesbian. However, no, no. she's a very beautiful girl. Yeah. And we're not going to make fun of her for not being a lesbian. Sure, she has heterosexual sex, but that's not. Disgusting N to nothing, me and you, but nothing wrong with it. I yeah. mean, well, there's something wrong with it. But anyway, but the point is that on the MySpace page, I just noticed this here. It says that we're male, which true. It says we're 27 years old. And how old are you? I am. I am 20. No, 
I'm 28 years old. Yeah, you're, and you're 28. And how old are you? 24. Right. Not aging well. Right. But 24 years old. Right. No, I'm I'm uh, 31. 31. So is that like our? It's not even no, like our average aver- age. It's a year younger than the youngest one of us. Which is, I think she's trying to get, because gay people, they don't like people at the top of the 20s. Yeah. They want the mid-20s. Why didn't she just put 21? I mean, you know, CorbinFisher.com. Again, yeah. they're all 20, 21, 22. Some yeah. of them are 16, 17. Yeah, but that's a whole other show. However, you know, that's a porn site, and we're, we're not a porn we're not site. Porn. We're not yet. porn. Yet. Yet. Not yet. Our MySpace page could get a little dirty. <laughs> I did have a little encounter this weekend. Went to a party, and you know Miss Ann Coulter. Of course, the Republican lunatic. Um, who's normally referred to with a C word in front of her name. And I was at a, a party with a bunch of homos, and there was buzz about Ann Coulter arriving at this, this party right. at, at an apartment. And, <clears throat> well, it seems that some of the gays, when she got there, flocked to her really like she's a little fag hack huh and the other gays my camp were you know uh sitting around in the corner talking about like how dare she yeah how dare she how dare she invade our territory right and so i wanted to read from this this blog of uh this kid is probably going to kill me but i didn't i didn't know him that well but he was so excited to meet ann coulter that he wrote up something called Uh oh Ann Coulter is the most fabulous, fabulous fag hag. Okay. Um, remember, this is, in case you don't know Ann Coulter, uh, she's the one who called uh, Edwards. John Edwards. John Edwards, presidential candidate, a fag. She's the one who recently said uh, we should take away women's right to vote. Then we'd never have to worry about another Democrat president. And this woman is hanging out at a party with a bunch of homos. Yeah, and if you can't picture what she looks like, she's very long, almost in an alien sort of way. She's see, <laughs> like in a, in a kind of, um, like the alien movie, almost like a little mouth would come out of her mouth, but also that she has very long tentacles like she's trying to suck uh, the life out of you. Yeah, and she, she looks very anorexic too. And of yeah. course, all the gays are like, oh my God, she looks amazing. Yeah. But you can see bone. You can I mean, see bone. Yeah. So this kid, uh, Ryan Creed is his name. He writes a blog, and he, he writes, This weekend I attended a small, intimate house party in Manhattan of mostly gay men in the media. I was sitting in the kitchen talking about Men's Vogue and Lisa Kudrow's The Comeback with my friend Mark when in walks Ann Coulter. The gays squealed with delight. Ryan, no. It, this is not true. Cooing over how skinny she is and hovering around her waiting for an introduction. He said, he went up to her and he said, Hi, Ann. I just want to say that I think you're hilarious. Uh, he goes on to say she has an engaging... That's what you go uh, when right. you say you go, you're hilarious? Is that what she wants? She's not a comic. Right. I mean, she says idiotic things, but... I mean, I, I, she is a hilarious in terms of how much of a cunt she is. Yeah. I mean, she'd rather people come up to her and go, you're a right-wing lunatic. That seems like more of a compliment. You're, you're hilarious. Yeah, can you imagine that? And she... So there's a group of gays just surrounding her. Yeah. Why was she there? Did she know one of these gay people? Yeah, she, know, she knew the guy who was, uh, who was throwing the party. And okay. she was invited. And apparently, she does like the gays. However... I definitely have a problem with someone who, quote unquote, likes the gays and also speaks against gay marriage. Right. And who's pushing the right wing agenda. Basically. Right. Um, you know, sort of like the people who go tap, tap, tap in the restroom and are, you know, against gay marriage as well. Yeah. Larry Although Craig. that really was more of a function of that bathroom in Minnesota. I've had to stop there for flights to the West Coast. And oh, you've been it's, there? It's, it's a tremendous. I mean, it's really, there's something about the bathroom that you feel. You know. I hear it's a tourist destination at this point. People are going. People are going, yeah. People are putting up uh, pieces of toilet paper from the stall on eBay. Really? Yeah. I don't know who would buy these things. Yeah, I mean, who's would, buying it? I don't know. Yeah. Um, Sidebar. So just to end on this, this Coulter thing, uh, he ended his blog saying, I met Ann Coulter and I want to be her best friend. Isn't that sort of typical of gay guys, though? It's like there's this sort of down, uh, sort of self-defeatism that we're just, you could hate somebody, or someone could hate you, and that they come to your party, and you go, now that, 
Yeah. A great woman. Right, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, meanwhile, she's just flitting about the party as if she's this, you know, the, the popular kid in school who was once gawky and then decided to write a book, and now she's, she's cool. Yeah. Um, you but, know what I realized, though? After thinking about this and after debating this with a number of people, she is the queen of self-promotion. Oh, yeah. She's a publicity whore. And I don't know if she truly is anti-gay. I don't know if she believes any of this stuff, but she knows how to promote herself. Absolutely. She, does, she knows that John Edwards is not a fag. I mean, she, but she knows she can say fag more easily than you can say... Or she knows that the word fag will instill... It'll make her look cool to the... To the base. It's right. all about the base. And she she has people like Kathy Griffin, you know, saying that cunt, uh, Ann Coulter, in the black cocktail dress. Yeah, that was a real gravity to the way you say cunt. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, so she's uh, the queen of self-promotion. I think we should learn a thing or two from her. We should. I'm, I'm going to go to a straight party, and, and uh, well, I, maybe I might fit in too well with them. I don't know what I could do. I want to go to somewhere where I shouldn't be. And then do something, and then have somebody talking about me. And yeah, and getting the, getting the headlines and getting page six, and yeah. Well, that's why they say a comedian should never go to an orgy. Um, you didn't even mention the instant messages we got last time. Oh, well, I wrote down. So we, you know, we keep the IM on, right? And people have instant messages a couple things that I thought were interesting. I just yanked out a few of them. Several people have asked us this type of question, which I'm going to paraphrase what they wrote. But they want people want to know if we're lovers. Oh, yeah. Uh, how There's can, how can people, we how can we be lovers if we can't be friends? Well, this is just what people ask. <laughs> people just there have been a couple of people that have implied you didn't like my Michael Bolton right there. Oh, is that what that yeah. was? Yeah, went over my head. <laughs> I, I still get, miss a lot of the gay. Uh, yeah, well. You you think Michael Bolton is, like, gay culture? Wait, I got to tell you something funny about Michael Bolton. When I was in college, we used to go to these fraternity parties, and we would, we'd like to, yeah, pretty this cool. This guy is pretending to be so straight here today. <laughs> so I don't wait. understand gay culture, and uh, so I'm a frat boy. Yeah, we'd uh, smoke a little pot. And, uh, no, so we, we'd go to these fraternity parties, and we would like to, we would create a rumor and see if the rumor could come back to us throughout the night. So the big one that we always used to do, we'd go to these fraternity parties and we would spread rumor that Michael Bolton got killed in a skiing accident. And every time we did it, there would be a girl crying, screaming at some point along the way, Michael Bolton was killed in a <laughs> skiing accident. <laughs> that is great. Yeah. And people, I mean, we spread this rumor constantly. And I assume since, uh, since you're uh, a lot older than I am, this was before the days of the internet. Because remember people used to, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> just want to throw in a little dig. I don't know why. It's the third day, people. We're allowed to throw in Finally, digs. Yeah, we're getting to the truth here. Yeah, uh, but remember I on think, the. I think we're dealing with two years here, maybe. What do you mean? Oh, you're two years older. I'm a older. lot older than you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Although, frankly, you should respect. I your think elders. it's three, but well, yeah. Let's not. Uh, yeah. Okay. I will uh, sit back in my place. Yeah. We are no longer no. equals. Not anymore. Um. But do you remember on the internet, once the internet came around, <laughs> kids, um, <clears throat> that would always happen. People would be like, oh, my God, Linkin Park, they got in an accident. And people would believe it because they uh, come up with fake web pages. So let's talk about this week. Yeah. We went out. We went to see Joy Behar. So you don't want to answer this question. Oh, we, we had an really... IM. Yeah, yeah. My so ADD wanna... is kicking in. Yeah, you're all over. So people want to know. People want to know. Oh, are we lovers? Yeah. I, that's why. I was trying to avoid it. Yeah. Oh, I see. What well, were lovers of the finer things in life? <laughs> and you're not gay. Yeah. Well, I've, I've dabbled. Right. Uh, no, we are not lovers, We are folks. not lovers. We're not lovers. We're uh, not. I think, you know, there's a side of me that probably wants a little Dave Rubin, but who wouldn't? Which side? Uh, well, it's in my nether regions. The front side. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, people should, you know. We're not getting into top bottom discussions in episode three. Thank no, no, you. No, 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 no. No, not yet. Yeah. Legally, that should be episode seven. Um, we we did. Do uh, you want to get to another I am? Yeah. Well, it's just a couple. Uh, some somebody. So then, it's 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 interesting because people they all seem to be there's sort of sexual things. We bring out sort of like a apparently we bring out like a sexual. I thing like that people. people. 
Um, so a couple other people requested. Are that these we, guys or girls? I assume most of them are guys. Or it's hard I, I to, tend I, to I, think that the lesbians are not pushing for us. Will you do the show naked? It, you can't tell from their, their screen names, like Harry Stud uh, 310 from L.A. Yeah. Well, I assume that that would be a – that's a lesbian, right? <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. That's it. Well, but so a couple of people wanted us to do the, the show naked. I I think we will. We were actually talking earlier about having some theme shows. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a, a suit and tie day. Yeah. I think because last time I said I love uh, Midtown Manhattan because all these guys walking around in suits. Yeah. What else? We were going to do possibly a Halloween episode, although I am not a fan of Halloween. No, I, I read your blog and I... Yeah. yeah. Here at TV.com, we each have blogs. I love your, your first posting, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> use my, I use my webcam. I, Was I that looked, your webcam? Yeah, I looked out into space and I took a little grainy picture. Yeah. Pretty good. You look pretty hot, but it's only because we can just see a little bit of you. Yeah. Well, that's it's illusion. It's no, another dig. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, well, I don't know yet. But more to come uh, on Dave's blog. I'm very yeah. excited. Um, so will we do the show naked? I, I'm not opposed to it entirely, but I think I don't know how the higher ups would feel about that. Well, given the stuff that airs on this network, not a problem. We'd I, have to wear fangs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, they say, well, we'll put naked people on, but you're going to have to have fangs right. and blood dripping all over. Exactly, you. or else no one will want to watch yeah. if it's not uh, supernatural. Yeah. Uh, gay vampire related? Yeah. Nothing. Nobody wants to see two white naked people, <laughs> just regular people. Right. They want to see vampires. Right. Let's talk about what we did this week. Yeah. Uh, we went out together. We saw Joy Behar from The View. Yeah. Uh, it was called a comedy workshop, which I thought she was going to teach us a thing or two about comedy, which I think we both need. Yeah, well, you can't teach the master. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was actually it was a good experience for us because we had been talking about you know our goals for the show and uh, like many a gay man out there we watched the View yeah and we love hot topics love it we want this to be like the gay hot topics and well they're doing the gay hot topics <laughs> we would just do the other hot topics yeah. sorry did a few buildings just collapse around the world w when I mentioned. You being on a gay radio show? No, no, no. I'm not saying that we're not gay. I'm saying that they're, you know, the gays are going to the view anyway. Right. So we're going to bring in the nervous straight crowd. That's what I think <laughs> we're going to do. You know what I mean? That's what it's going to be for us. You we did I mean? talk to Joy afterwards, and yeah. she said the view audience is 25% male. Yeah. And she said she thinks 20% of those are, are gay men. 20%. Overall, not yeah. twenty percent. Uh, yeah, so five twenty percent yeah. overall. Yeah, one in five. Yeah, uh, view viewers. viewers. Viewers, <laughs> right? Is is a homosexual? Is gay? Yeah. Um, well, she was great though. She was. Yeah. Well, well, the thing was though, you had told me about this. Yeah. And I thought it would be like a fun night out with the gays. Like I got all gayed up. And you did. You were wearing a gay shirt. Right. Your hair was a little gayer than normal. Yes. No. And it was not. It was like a nursing home crowd, the geriatrics night out with Joy Behar. Yeah. It was a lot of older people, but I think she appreciated having some young, hip. She did. Gay people. So uh, We're young and hip. Look at no, us. We're hip. <laughs> Trust me, we're hip. And we actually accosted her after the show. We did. Which is, I was proud of us. We came up with a game plan, too, because we want to get her on the, the Ben and Dave yeah, show. I love Joy Behar. That needs to be. I do, too. Her. Yeah. I mean, she's like the one stable person on The View besides uh, Barbara Walters. We're not even going to get into her. No, 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 no. no. Um, and, you know, she's been... No one's gotten into Barbara in about 40 <laughs> years, so we shouldn't start. It would be inappropriate. But um bum shh. Good night. Good night, everybody. Dave Rubin. <laughs> um, but we, may, we came up with a plan afterwards. Her agent was there. I was going to go. I had to go be the businessman yeah. and go talk to the agent. And you were going to go talk to her, and you had a personal story for her. Yeah. And it kind of sucked because I could hear you talking to her behind me, and you were having, like, a fun conversation. And I was like, hi, I'm Ben Harvey from Here Networks. We met once before. We'd love yeah. to have Joy on. And you're busting out your BlackBerry. <laughs> it was very technical. It yeah. was a very technical, precise conversation. Meanwhile, I'm back there. We're cracking up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to tell that story real quick? Well, real quick, I had bumped into Joy about a year ago, and uh, literally I'm walking down the street, and my boyfriend 
uh, we should probably get into some of the, the details of that too at some point. But Uh-oh, so I'm Dave walking down the boyfriend. street. Walking down the street, ding, my ding, boyfriend ding. had wanted a, this job, and he had had six interviews for this job, literally six interviews. He calls me after weeks of interviewing, and he says, I didn't get the job. And as he said that, I see Joy Behar, and I went, and he goes, I didn't get the job. And I go, Joy Behar, and I hang up. I talk to Joy. We have a real nice conversation, blah, blah, blah. This is on the street. This and, is on and, the street. And her boyfriend was there, too. And her boyfriend was there. And, we're, and uh, you know, uh, we had a great chat right on Broadway. And then from that point forward... I have never been allowed to. I can't even say Joy Behar. He hates her. In front of Carlos. I can't say the name. So Joy will say something funny, and I always want to repeat it to him. Yeah. And he goes, don't you say Joy Behar. <laughs> There- you will not. Therefore, he hates me since I went out with you to go see Joy Behar. Yeah. This is going to get good. Yeah. There's a lot of hatred. It's going to get good. Yeah. Now, uh, one thing I thought was interesting, you brought up with her how they always have Mario Cantone. Yeah. Is it Mario? Mario? Ma- uh, Cantone. Well, I don't know. I always say Super Mario yeah. if I'm playing. If I was playing Super Mario, Brothers, yeah, me too. But a lot of people say Mario, um, and they always have him. I think they know who we're talking about, right? Yeah. They always have him on the View, yeah. And you're like, what's up with that? You should have some other comedians who happen to be gay, right? Well, I, I tried to impart that on. Her. I mean, the thing is, Mario, Mario, whatever the hell his name is, he he does. Ser- you know, he's talented. The guy's talented, and he does serve a purpose. Um, you know, and anyone that comes out and does their thing kind of moves the thing forward, generally, I think. Moves the sort of awareness or whatever that is and blah, blah, blah. Um, but if you just put on, you know, Mario and then uh, what's the other guy? The uh, the guy from The Tonight Show, the Ross the Intern. Yeah, yeah. And Perez Hilton. I mean, if you just put on that kind of vein of people, uh, you know, you're not really showing the whole shebang. I guess so. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess they sort of go with those people because they're they're out there and they're uh, um, zany. Um, and oh, I'm on that. I'm not zany enough. Is no, you are. Saying? But you're like a comedian who happens to be gay. Right. You're not a gay comedian. Well, thank you. I don't know if that's a compliment. Uh, something. I think it is. It's getting into this gay shame stuff that we yeah. have to talk about sometime. We were talking about that. We were talking about post-gay also. Right. You are post-gay. Well, I don't know that I'm there yet, but what we're trying to do, I think, because we're not, uh, you know, there's been no... Uh, Flamboyant is what you're trying to say. Yeah, not that we're better. Right. I'm worse than these people, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so what did people miss? Uh, this has been like a long blind date for us. It's coming along. Um, we've been trying to get listeners the whole time. Yeah. Um, how's that coming along? Well, they're coming. Right. We talked about the MySpace friends. We In the first episode, we were talking about making a posting on Craigslist. Yeah. Oh, all right. So I did that. Okay. I happened to be looking at it. It, right. it took till the fourth episode for you to get around to doing that? I was sort of letting things... Take their course. Okay. But anyway, so I put a posting on Craigslist. Yeah. Now, this isn't uh, against the women in any way, but I felt that if we put it in the male for male section, because we're men. Right. And then, you know, that that would be the way to go. So I put a posting and it says, two guys looking for more Midtown East. For more. Yeah. We're looking for more. We're looking for more guys. More guys. We want more guys. We want people to listen in. And we're in Midtown East Manhattan. All this is true so far. Yeah. And I wrote, you know, two guys here in Midtown. Looking for more for good times this afternoon, which is exactly what we're looking for. Right. I mean, it could take place any time for where you're listening or watching, but yeah. Yeah. Keep going. And uh, first guy, and that's you. That's me. Uh, 5'11", athletic build, hot and hung. So I took liberties. All but, true. Um, All true. Oh. Uh, and second se- guy. Second dude. Second dude. I wrote second Very dude. Very good. I don't know. I you dude know, masculine. Was. Butch. 6'1". Yeah. I'm not really no. 6'1", but I thought that I didn't want us both to be 5'11". Right. You know, people there, people are going, well, you know. All right. And what about your cock? VGL. Very good looking for those who aren't initiated into Craigslist lingo. Yeah. Great cock. Okay. That's, so you answered my question. Great yeah. cock. I was going to write glorious cock, but then that has, it's, it's sort of, yeah. Is that, is that it? Yeah. And it's, no, and I wrote, we've got this place to ourselves and want to have some fun, which is exactly what we're doing. It's true. I don't see anyone else in this room. Yeah. Um, Occasionally people walk by, but the the windows are frosted. They are. We have a frosted window. So, so if you want to come in, you know, people can barely see past the frosting. Yeah. So now I put the post up, and now we'll see 
You have your iPhone there. Yeah, because they won't give me a computer. Right. And I have I, a computer. I wanted to check the emails because um, we just re- we've been posting this, but we reposted it. Right. Ooh. Did uh, we get something? We got something. Why did I use my email address? We got something. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Not, All right. Not just something. One, two, four messages. Shut the f- it's it's we posted this like ten minutes. We ago. literally reposted this thing a minute before we got on air. About ten. And we're minutes, not making this minutes. up. Believe me. Ten minutes. Ago. Dave doesn't like to make st- no, stuff. No, I am. Up. I am a complete. Th- oh. Uh oh. Okay. Hey man, how are you doing? This is all caps. Yeah. Uh-oh. How are are you doing? HIV and STD neg. Play safe. I'm into most things. Foreplay, stripping down, showing off, three ways, watching porn, making. It. Dude, this guy wrote like a. <laughs> He wrote it, yeah. Watching porn, making out, oral, jacking. He wrote jaking. Nip and pit play. <laughs> I'd prefer my nips and pits be left. He maybe. Yeah. Oh! Ah! We have pictures. All right, let's see. That's a cock. And our first pregnant pause. All right, we got a cock. There's a cock. <laughs> and an ass. And there's a cock okay, and an ass. I'm going to move on. Uh, ass. Mark. Is that? Yeah, I mean, this could take up the whole show. We gotta, we gotta, you know. Hot guy, hot guys, uh, thirty-five, five eleven, smooth body, verse bottom here, versatile. You want me to keep going? We can check in. Yeah, well, uh, let's. We gotta, right. Let's just knock out the four. All right, all right, yeah. all right. Uh, let's. Maybe we should shut the cameras off for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you getting excited? Well, I'm just saying. These are, uh, all right, a fifty-year-old masculine professional here. I think that's a bit much. <laughs> we were looking, you know, we were looking for friends, but not. I don't need to be, you know. Uh. Hey, hey there, I read your ad. Here's a pic. I'm Italian. Yes, he is masculine and safe. I wish I could show you guys. But yeah, we're not going to we're not going to this guy's show. confidentiality. Yeah, ethically, you know. ethically, we can't, obviously, but no, um, I'll just turn it off. Oh, well, all right, let it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, it'll it'll beep if we get some more here. Yeah. Uh, remind me to check it in a little bit. A little bit. Uh, what else do people miss? We have a gay bell now. <laughs> Sounds good. That is. It is good. And we talked about this before. You know, any time something is cheesy, lame, gay, yeah, as the straight people use it, yeah, we are going to use the gay bell. We're going to hit that bell, thus furthering the idea that gay people like bells. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because that is, you know, one of the major stereotypes out there. Yeah. That we want to further on this show. Yeah. I. I. What about um, uh, what do you confetti? Can we do something with confetti, or is, did Rosie sort of... Is this too, this is too much like we're trying to make the gay view? You're right. Okay. But I do like confetti. And I don't see them posting no Craigslist ads on the uh, gay view, <laughs> child. <true. laughs> All right, point taken. Point yeah. taken. Can I show this? Yeah, this is ridiculous. Um, I was given a gift today. It looks like this. I thought they were bringing me pizza. Not pizza. No. Uh, I was given a, uh, what's it called? City Kitty. Yeah. No litter. Toilet train your cat. Let me show this. Yeah. And this this was left to you by... Uh, uh, for, by Sarah from the Sarah uh, Here with Josh and Sarah podcast yeah. on HereTV.com. And it's no joke. You've, I've seen it on YouTube before. Uh, cats. I thought you were about to read the instructions for it. Well, I, it, it does say tips and tricks. Wow. I'm a little excited. Are your cats? Do your cats have a problem? No, it's for cats who live in the city. Yeah. And you don't want to use uh, a litter box because then you have litter everywhere. And like, if you're in New York, you probably don't have that much room for a. Uh, right. I, I moved to Brooklyn, honestly. So, so that's, I, that you put that in a litter box? No. I don't know what this thing. Is. It's ah. so they can take a shit and pee in your toilet. It trains them one Shut step at the, the fuck uh, yeah, up. one step at a time. That cat, you have a cat that's gonna piss and shit in your toilet I because of that thing. I'm not into the idea. And then I, where are you gonna piss and shit? Well, I guess you use like a Clorox. You have wipe. to use a litter box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So yeah, it comes with a bunch of tips here, man. I'm, I'm open to it. I do have two cats. Yeah. Well, I'm not shitting at your place. Yeah. And Dave is one of those people who, uh, like many a gay guy who I've met, pretends to be uh, allergic. I am highly allergic to cats. And maybe it's because I go on dates with them and it's their excuse. Like, yeah. Oh, hey, but we're on our way home. Uh, oh, yeah. you have a cat? Oh, sorry. Goodbye. Yeah. Like you're like, you know, come on over. Let's All right. get romantic. All right. And they're like, oh, shit, got to go. Yeah. They're like, do you have a cat knowing that that's the 
Right. So do you think the lesbians uh, want, because we've been looking for something to attract the lesbians. Lesbians love cats, as everyone knows. And, and I see, I, to me, it seems like that would be more of a lesbian. So if we uh, gave these away, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, to our lesbian listeners. City kitty people. Yeah. Uh, we're also trying to get a sponsor. So C-I-T-I. K I T T Y dot com. Perhaps if we plug this enough, they'll give us enough free ones and we can give these away to all the lesbians. <laughs> you know, is that going to work? Let me tell you, people, you know you've made it when you're plugging a cat bowel system in hopes of getting more to bring more lesbians in. Oh, man. Well, we have hit gold, people. We have. Uh, this is the Ben and Dave podcast. It's a it's a success already. I would be we Ben Harvey, a success. the glorious Dave Rubin. Thank you very little. And you know, with success, sometimes comes diva esque behavior, which you have been showing all morning. I know there's a sense around the office that I've been acting. Uh, wait, it, you, with your diva behavior, you actually have to lean into the microphone. Oh, I know that there's a sense. <laughs> You know what it is? It's the mustache. Can we? Can we, you, we know, you know what? We're going to wait. You want to wait. wait. Okay. Yeah, I, you know, well, we're doing a big show. Yeah, it's huge. We're at our, you know, this is, I like to think of this as now our network. <laughs> and is it, it called the Ben and Dave Network now? With an exclamation no, point at the, the end? This is the flagship program. Uh, really? On the network. Really? Yeah. So that means. You can come in and order people around, and you know what, people? He asked someone to shave his neck before going. I on wanted air. well because with the uh, what do we call that camera there? The uh, upper, the overhead, we, upper. And we oh, by the way, we're yeah. introducing a new camera this week. It's called the Rover, the Ben and Dave Rover. Yeah. It goes around the office. Uh, we're gonna play with that a little later. Yeah, you're right. It yeah. is. It's getting big. They're adding equipment. Uh, we have visual aids this week. Everything. I mean, we actually went out to Staples and and um, you know bought bought things. Well, we didn't, but our people. no. Oh yeah, our people. Yeah, that's my point. Right, our right. people, our people. We, I, we have people. Yeah. Um, and Dave likes to order them around. Well, you know, Ben, we are talent, <laughs> and people around talent have to do. Oh, here's another example. Yeah. Uh, Dave just grabs a Diet Coke from the, the fridge. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, wow, did you run out and get them? I, I would have liked one. Diet Coke. There it is, just so you know that he's not uh, yeah. making and, this up. And he's like, oh, no, you can just grab them from the fridge. And I go to the fridge, there's like a six-pack, and there's only two left. And I, I don't think they're for the taking. So you think that in this office, the here office is here, that you think that they're just putting soda in the office... I think people bring their own supply. Yeah. I don't think they're put there for the Ben and Dave show. I'm pretty sure that when <laughs> soda is in a refrigerator in an office, <laughs> the, the, the mustache, this is getting all very right, tough. All right. We it, should explain. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, I, it's Movember, people. Yeah, it's Movember. Have you heard about it? It's Movember. Yeah. And that stands for mustache in Movember. I, th I thought it standed for homo. In well, well, November. the thing is that in, uh, <clears throat> in according to this uh, article here, that in uh, Australia they refer to uh, mustaches as mo's. Okay. We refer to homos. Oh, so, got it. Yeah. So we're mo's wearing mo's. See, we should have blown that thing up and yeah. put it on one of these things. Yeah. Um, and if you're just listening and not watching, I'm holding up a. Um, it's sort of like on the Letterman show when they have visual aids, they put them on these black boards. Yeah, we got this actually. We sent one of our people uh, <laughs> to the Letterman studios okay. to the garbage, right? Where they keep the remaining. They throw out a lot of these black uh, boards because we want the authentic black boards. We yeah. don't want to make our own. Yeah. Can we take off our mustaches? I, I yet? think I have to take oh, mine off. I'm getting mine sweaty Ooh. and it itches and. Ah, all right. Well, welcome to the official Ben and Dave show. Uh, yeah. Sans Woo. mustaches. I like, feel back. Now I feel like myself. Before I think we were a little, you know. Was the is the diva gone now? All right. All right. Was I, the diva just part of the mustache? Am I too What's going on with my mic? I feel like I'm too close or I'm I'm not too close. Do what you want. Okay. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. So we got a big show. We yeah. have uh, a lot to announce, a lot to go over, uh, some stuff to talk about. 
some people to call. Got a lot going on here. Yes. Uh, I did get in a little trouble. Talk about d- <laughs> diva behavior. Yeah. Apparently, I was tardy. You two were weeks late in a row. Yeah. Well, you were late last week. You were late again this week. Well, okay. First of all, I live in Brooklyn. <laughs> Have I mentioned this before? It takes a good hour and 15 minutes and uh, switch into a, a few different trains. Yeah. Second of all, I wasn't told you were coming in 20 minutes beforehand to quote unquote prep. I come here. And prep for Dave means bitch. Well, no, I go around. I cheer a little cheery. Uh, how you doing? Good, you know. Thank you for guys for working for us. Ask our people to do things for yeah, you, right? Print things up for right. me. Right. Whereas I know things are taken care of, and I'm actually at home uh, prepping for us, and you know, cutting things out. You think our people did this? No, you I, did that. I did that. Yeah. Thank you. So I got in a little trouble here, uh, Mr. Benjamin Harvey, due to your second tardiness this month. Henceforth. The producers of the Ben and Dave show with a little C of copyright. Well, we're, like we're a copyright. Will require an electronic message as well as a text message prior to prior to further transgressions. Furthermore, your behavior has been noted by the powers that be, and you are currently placed on temporary probation. Uh, if you have any questions, contact Robbie. Rob's, Robbie's our graphic design <laughs> guy. I have to <laughs> contact him. I don't know if he takes the calls on these things. Because of my probation. I think it's funny that they wrote electronic message instead of email. <laughs> yeah. Like, that'll really fucking, you know. Uh, some funny guy wrote that. Who could that be? I don't know. Let's see if uh, we can get Jeff from ad sales on the phone here. So, so we have a couple ideas that we think maybe would be good for Jeff. And, and right. Maybe he'll come. We're calling Jenny because we don't know how to get connected to Jeff. I think Jenny's making the pop. Hello, this is Glenn. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, Glenn, we are trying to uh, talk to Jenny. Oh, I think Jenny's in the kitchen making popcorn or oh, something. Oh, good girl, good girl. Listen, you're you're Mike Dubin's assistant, right? Yeah, who is this? Oh, sorry. This is uh, Ben and, and Dave from the Ben and Dave show. How you doing, Glenn? What is this pertaining to? <laughs> Glenn, can you connect us with Jeff? We don't have the extension. Jeff from Mad yeah. Sales? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I know who he is. Hold on. Let me see if I could if I could find his extension. <laughs> Hold on. I like Glenn. Yeah. Don't talk so loud. He's going to hear you. Oh, and I love the hold music at this network. Haven't we talked to people we about uh, changing this? Making it into. N- 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 yeah. N- who is this? It's very ambient. Yeah. I could get into this. Hello, guys. Yeah. I'm going to transfer you right now. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. Hold, please. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> he is some piece of work. Is he gay? I'm, just, I'm trying Nobody to find knows. some Nobody gay knows people who work. He's one of those network. people that's, he's like one of these like middle-aged, sort of haven't had sex in 30 years. <laughs> this people. is Jeff. Jeff. Yes. This is uh, Ben and Dave from the Ben and Dave show. How are you, Jeff? We're the podcast that's sweeping the nation. Have you heard of us? Right, yeah. I, actually, I have. How you doing? He's he's never heard of us. <laughs> no, no. Actually, I there was a memo that was passed around. I saw it. Very good. Oh, wow. Listen, so we know you're the, the guy in charge of getting sponsorships on this network. And since we are a, uh, a new podcast, is it cool if we ran some ideas by you? Sure. What do you got over there, Dave? Well, one thing we thought this would be very simple... Uh, Sprite Zero, because gay people like their low-calorie drinks, and I, I find it very refreshing. What do you think? Wow. Pregnant pause there. Well, so, uh, right. So, you guys, <laughs> I'm just trying to wrap around this for you guys. Yeah, um, yeah. So, so you're, you're suggesting that the, the network's ad sales group go out and try to secure sponsorships for the podcast. Do I have that right? Yes, exactly. That's right. That's right. All right. So Sprite Zero, I, I, I get the connection that was just made, but we, we need to come up with a plan of what we're offering to the sponsors. So in other words, like what is the, well, I think we the would, benefit to the sponsorship for the advertiser? We'll definitely uh, have product placement. I mean, we'll be drinking Sprite Zero. I mean, yeah. t- today Sprite we're... Sprite Zero is the only thing I ever drink. Right? Okay. Today, today we're drinking Diet Coke, but we'll replace it. With, I thought I was drinking with, Sprite. Yeah. All right. 
I, I sense from Jeff that he wants us to go a, a little bigger, to think outside the box. And what about what about would you be something maybe with NASA, some kind of like gaze in space thing, like Lance Bass did? Yeah. Well, you know, I don't know that NASA does corporate sponsorships. To be honest with you. Why is that? Because they're like. It's very straight. There's run no by the government. Is there a gay no. astronaut? Well, because they're NASA, man. I mean, you know, they don't do sponsorships on other corporations. Other corporations do sponsorships with NASA. Ah, words, good point. You know, we were doing the old reverse. So yeah, you're doing a little reverse action there. You know, you know, if you're McDonnell Douglas, you want to do a sponsorship with NASA, so they put your logo on the side of a spaceship. That's right. not uh, quite what we're doing here. Okay, what about this? Is I don't know. This is a little risque, but uh, what about a penis pump? A penis pump? Yeah, yeah, I don't. Whatever brand you think would be best for us. I don't know. I don't know any brand names. Right. Yeah, of Guys, course you don't. Dude, I don't do penis pumps for sponsorship. <laughs> I gotta tell you. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't think Jeff likes us very much. No, We're, no, no, no. I, I mean, I'm into is that, you. I'm into helping you guys out. You know, in order to, to kind of you know help me here, I really kind of need to understand like what's the premise of the show? Who's the target audience? How many how many viewers do you have or listeners do you have? Wow. Yeah. Well, we're like the premise is that we're like gays of the future. We're like the next step in the gay. The post-gay revolution. Yeah. We don't know what that means, but it sounded it good. Sounds good. Wasn't that that was proactive? We're very proactive. Jeff, could we sit down with you at some point and brainstorm perhaps? Yeah, that would that would be fine. You know, those questions that I riled off, those are really what we need to kind of move the ball forward. So I'm glad to help you guys out. Um, but you need to know and kind of you know figure out what exactly the the proposition is to the client, and then I'll I'll be glad to help you guys you know get it going. All right. What uh, if what if we took sausage, Jimmy Dean sausage, and we wrote the Ben and Dave show, and it, that was our logo made out of sausage? Dave, I'm gonna have to turn off your microphone. I, uh, we're, we're wasting <laughs> Am I missing time. The point? I'm missing, He's right, making right, money right. from the network. We're okay. gonna let you go. Thank you so much. All right, man. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Thanks. thanks. Hey, good luck with the show. <laughs> Thank you. We need All it. Right. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> All right, bye, guys. Bye. Is that, am I missing the point here? But if we did a Ben and Dave in sausage, Jimmy Dean wouldn't get anything off that? Yeah.